Well, the boys have kindly dropped me off on this little ridge here. Um, I'm a little bit out of action at the moment. So uh, they've propped me up here while they've continued up the ridge line uh, in search for Samba. Seen a few already this morning, all in the distance and all moving back into the scrub. It's not to say that they won't knock one over, and hopefully they do. Uh, I'll purely be back up today. I need to redeem myself. I've learnt the lesson with the VLDs. They don't expand like SSTs. That same shot last time with the SST in the neck, that deer would have been down on the ground. Uh, yeah, so I'll be going for a more traditional uh, chest, shoulder shot. Uh, obviously the VLD has got a lot more penetration and probably needs some more resistance as in bone to get it to expand. Anyway, we'll see how the day pans out. It's a beautiful day and hopefully the boys will get one on the ground. Well, that should be a relief. Uh, traditional shot, right on the front left shoulder, going raking back into the animal. At that range, at 750 yards, that bullet's pretty much going down on not so much a 45 degree angle, but somewhere between 45 degree angle and flat. So it should have raked right in and done a fair bit of damage. If it hasn't, I've really got to reassess these VLDs. But even though she's run, you could see straight up that she was carrying her front left shoulder or front left leg. So I'll be very surprised if she's gone more than 50 or 100 yards. They're a tough animal, we all know that, but uh, that, should be, uh, that shot should be on the money. So the boys are going to go and see if they can find her and um, hopefully we'll be cutting up some meat pretty soon. Let's go and find this deer, what do you reckon? Yeah mate, uh, it's a pretty big shot by Steve, so... Yeah. You go and get it. Oh, it was a good shot. How far was it? 750 odd. 750 odd. Yeah, well, we know that it's up in here somewhere. And she's pretty confident she's just up here. Oh, well, so, I'll keep having a look. Can you close your mouth when you do that? Well, she ran about 150 yards or better, and uh, the shot wasn't too bad, a fraction low. She, uh, she managed to get this far, which just goes to show that the others that uh, we'd, we'd shot could easily have got to this scrub behind me. Um, and she sort of headed the same direction, but um, they didn't fall this close, that's for sure, because we had a damn good look. But it's redemption day for Robbo, and uh, it looks like, uh, oh, we're going to hear about it. We're going to hear about it. So hats off to you, mate, and uh, well done. It was a good shot, 700 and something odd yards, so you did a damn good job. Anyway, we've got meat to eat. Just spotted uh, three deer, two hinds and a young one. So the boys have decided they're going to go for it. Uh, they have to move quick because the sun's just about to hit the hill. Uh, put this way, if we can get another one on the ground, that'll really see us out for meat just about for the rest of the year.
What's going on, gentlemen? Well, I'm sweating. I can hardly even see you. You need to come closer. Who's got that light in the face? <laughs> Knuckles McGinty here decided to have a shot. Well, so, I didn't even get it. I didn't even get it on film, on video. Being the fair that? man I am, being the fair man I am, he decided to have a shot. Walked off. I said, "Now, Paul, on the radio, directly to his ear, just put your hand up before you're about to shoot." Bang! 